Hello everyone, it's me, Vlad Sama, Tetsuyar, and it would probably help if I was actually playing the clicking the game screen. Let me try and move it a bit. I think that's better. So, as you probably noticed, I'm better off now. And as I said, he just showed that he's not just looking for everyone. They're just out for himself. He's looking for everyone out. Out for everyone. Now, as you notice, there's a few more things. So, yeah, I did actually skip ahead. And she wants a war cat halter. There's the knife and the oversized club, which, club which I have equipped. There's the quilted hat, the cat ear hat, which I have equipped. The quilted cloths, clothes, and the um, old leather armor, which I have equipped. There's the glass ring and the leather shoes that I have equipped. Oh. So, there's a few more magic things. There's the heal one and there's the sleep. And, yeah. Um, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, I'm. I have a stronger attack. I. I have. I am. I have a greater strength. I have a better constitution. I have no idea what that is. I have better defense. I have better speed, which is less being hit, and wisdom, which is how good you are at magic. Now equipped, I said I have the oversized cl oversized club. I have the buckler, which is a shield you can get from um, uh, those go goblins, which I didn't, never showed you, which I'll show you probably today. Cat ear hat, something you get from the um, uh, war cats. Didn't show you it, but I'll show you it. To, uh, well, well, I showed you the war cats, so I don't need to show it. Old leather armor you actually buy from the store. Leather, leather shoes you get generically. Ring of power. It's a random find thing. So yeah. Good luck trying to find it. You can't eat. You cannot eat a meal in the morning. So there's that. And here's my usual dungeon. Let me explain a few things. See the treasure chest over there? That thing has treasure in it today. So the objective is to find who has the key. And since I actually need a war cat halter, which obviously, as the name and states, comes from a war cat, you want to keep the sleeping war cat asleep so it won't attack you. As the shovel probably explained, which I probably skipped over, hopefully I... Well, I'll explain it now anyways, but... the Whatever enemy you kill first... Is the one... Well, whatever enemy, rather, you kill last is the one that gives out items. So if you kill a war cat last, you're more likely to get the war cat halter or the cat, cat ear hat. I believe you're also probably going to get a weapon if you try hard enough. As you noticed, I do have a better defense because I have the sh ow bit my shit sh ah, bit my inside lip. But as I so just ignore that. So but yeah. So anyways, as I said, the last enemy to die is the one that drops items. As the prob probably the shovels would have said in the same thing if he if I didn't skip over it too fast. Hopefully, you see. You're more likely to get dropped items if you kill more than just one enemy. As the shovel did say, I remember him saying, if you um, uh, yeah, it's a bit laggy because there are two enemies on screen and one's low on health. Plus, it's attacking, so yeah, it's about as laggy as it's going to get. <clears throat> Unless there's three enemies, two are low on health, all three are low on health, and it's their turn and they're all attacking you. From common knowledge, I don't know if enemies run away at all. Slimes have the highest defense. Slimes are only found in trash bins. I'm going to tell you about a lot of the quests I skipped. 
There was the quest for the crowbat leg. All you get was from that is gold. Plus, the person who cooked it is told by the mayor that she's a good cook. And she decides to cook for you, the dungeon maker, for a good time. Hold Ah, oh, dang it, I forgot that there was something beeping in the background, so. Be right back. So, yeah, where was I? Uh, oh, yeah, I was like, I was talking about what the. <gasps> things are with this. Oh, cool. War Cat Dagger. So, oh, yeah, so I was explaining that you. Uh. The things about enemies, yeah. As you probably noticed, um, as you probably noticed, a lot of the enemies you c you really want to take on one at a time. Especially these goblins, because, well, also they really lag down the, he he the hell out of this thing. The goblins you want to take down one at a time. Why? They stun on a, reg on a random basis. I've actually been almost killed from being stunned after stunned after stunned. It ticked me off, because it's like... At the end, it's like, I have, like, four health left. Awesome! Shit. They'll stun you while you're stunned, too. See, now is when I'm not stunned anymore. You're still stunned for a turn after the effect wears off. But if he stuns now, I'm stunned for another two turns. It's happened before. It'll probably happen again. I've also noticed you only one-shot them after you've gotten in a first shot. It's like a law or something. Hey, probably I'll get that key. So anyways, about the treasure chest also. Yes, you need an iron key to open up the treasure chests there's anything in them. Yeah, leather hat. Cool. Let me check that. Oops. Oh, sweet! Finally! So, yeah, I'm now happy because I'm not getting stunned anymore, motherfuckers. Hells, yeah. As you've noticed, uh, anything that comes out of a, um, uh, place where enemies sleep like those pet beds things yeah they're they have status they have the status effect of sleep it's really convenient that's what can make the dungeon easier for you if you buy a lot of them you can just have sleeping enemies all over the place of course only certain enemies actually sleep there as you've noticed, I've never seen a crowbat ever come out of those. Ever. Seriously. So yeah, now that I have this leather hat, I'm kind of happy because I never get stunned anymore. Yes! And chain attacks. Enemies can be stunned if you're using um, uh, those heavy mallets. What I get? What I get? Armor, armor, armor. Oh, just an item. Oh, well. Items are still good. Oh, cool. It's a second iron key. That means both chests are actually being used. And as I explained, the last enemy to be killed is the one that actually drops the items. These are the goblins I was talking about. These are the things that drop the iron, the um, uh, oversized clubs. 
Yeah, it kind of lags during attacks. I can sometimes one-shot these guys. And I bet I could use save states in this game, but am I? No. Because technically you never die in this game. You can't really lose, but you can wind up spending a whole nother day coming back here. Yeah, I thought this thing protect against stunning. Oh, I think it just like lowers the chance of getting stunned. Oh well. Well, it lowers the chance of me getting stunned after stun after stunned. <laughs> Which is a very good thing considering that last time. So yeah, now that I know how long I have in the video, I'm kind of happy. I figured out the thing because I'm using Cam Studio, so it is a little time elapsed thing, so I can tell how long I've been actually recording. And if I need to edit out a little bit of thing. Whoops, what the hell did I just do? Damn it, I'm stupid. Ugh. I never said I was good at this game. It's a lie. Silver coins. Ooh, a bat enemy. This is the crow bat. So yeah, about the quest that I skipped. There was the um, uh, st starting quest which showed you that you got the... Oh wait, did I already... Yeah, I already explained that. Sorry about that. That explained how you got the um, uh, Oh yeah. That explained how you um, uh, uh what is it? Get the um, uh, Ooh. There was this one quest that explained um, uh, how you get um, uh, items from enemies. Ooh, that's the boss. No, I don't think it's good enough. It was the kind of basic starting quest. There was another quest. It was a quest to um, uh, get um, uh, slime, dry slime, which you get from slime enemies that I've already showed you and killed. And I told you they have the highest defense so far of any of the enemies I've ever seen out here. Score! Chain! Yes, there's actually room for more than just one player. I think there's like four. Eventually. Now... On the bottom screen, here's the dungeon map. It also shows your health and mana. Which, right now, is 12. Which has been reduced to 9 due to the fact that I used the um, uh, healing spell. Whoa, we're kind of getting low on time. So next time, I'm going to show you um, uh, that I'm... Uh, I'm going to show you more around the dungeon. I'm going to tell you more about enemies. Ooh, you get a little cat thing there. Cool, that's a new enemy, I think. And I'm going to also try and take on the boss. <laughs> try being the key word. Fail being the usual occurrence. So, yeah. Until next time, everybody.